Volcom's process turns municipal solid waste into renewable transportation fuels. We harvest the carbon and hydrogen that's embedded in landfill garbage and turn it into renewable jet and diesel fuel. The fuel produced from our process has been tested, certified, and approved for use in commercial vehicles and military and commercial aviation use worldwide. The Fulcrum fuel has a carbon content that's less than 20% of fossil fuel, and it's produced at a lower cost. Lower carbon content and lower cost, that's a very attractive fuel to our aviation customers worldwide. Fulcrum has built our business with the help of strong strategic investors, including BP, United Airlines, Cathay Pacific Airways, Waste Management, and the U.S. military, who together have invested more than $150 million in the company. We have secured long-term feedstock supply under contracts with Waste Management and Waste Connections and have established long-term offtake agreements with BP, Endeavor, United Airlines, and Cathay Pacific Airways. Our strategic partnerships go beyond commercial relationships. They provide strong expertise, insight, and best practices to support the success and growth of our renewable fuels program. The aviation industry has set some really ambitious targets to lower carbon emissions. Fulcrum Bioenergy is a pioneer in developing low carbon jet fuel with its proprietary technology. As BP, we are proud and excited to partner with Fulcrum it will allow us to meet our customers' needs and to deliver a low carbon and sustainable future. Fulcrum's low cost operating platform is built upon long term MSW supply contracts that lock in feedstock for our plants and long term jet fuel contracts that provide for the sale of our competitively priced fuels. Fulcrum plants provide a new source of lower carbon, cleaner fuel that is cost competitive with fossil fuel, diverting waste from landfills, providing quality jobs to our communities, and attractive returns to our investors. Fulcrum Sierra Biofuels plant, located outside of Reno, Nevada, combines technologies that have been time-tested, proven, and have been in commercial use for years. The Sierra Feedstock Processing Facility is in operations with the capacity to process more than 1,500 tons of household garbage each day. Waste diverted from the landfill is delivered to Fulcrum's facility and is processed through a conventional waste processing system which reduces the size of the material, removes inorganic and other waste not suitable for the fuel's process, and recovers recyclable materials such as metals and plastics that are sold to recyclers. The end product is an engineered feedstock ready to be converted into fuel at the Sierra Bio Refinery. At the Sierra Bio Refinery, the prepared MSW feedstock enters the gasification system where, with the use of heat, steam and pressure, the waste is converted into a syngas, made up primarily of molecules of carbon monoxide, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Fulcrum's process then utilizes the Fischer-Tropes technology, a system used throughout the refining industry to convert the syngas into a liquid fuel. During this stage, the syngas reacts with a catalyst to form a clean syncrude, which is then further refined into a final transportation fuel. In October 2017, Fulcrum completed over $200 million of financings for the project and issued its full notice to proceed for the construction of the Sierra Biorefinery. When the Sierra Biofuels plant begins operations in early 2020, it will convert approximately 175,000 tons of garbage into 10.5 million gallons of fuel each year. What Fulcrum is bringing to Story County is really impressive. Diverting large volumes of trash from the landfill, lowering carbon emissions, creating new jobs, and stimulating economic growth in Northern Nevada. We are really excited that Fulcrum chose our community and are starting their national footprint here in Nevada. As construction continues on Sierra, siting and development activities are underway for our next several projects. Fulcrum is having an impact. We are filling a huge market demand for lower carbon, lower cost fuel worldwide. 